Hi everyone, I'm Fion Wang from ASRock. This is ASRock's latest Z170 Extreme 7 Plus. And by the plus, it means that besides a pair of USB 3.1 Type-A and Type-C ports on the rear I.O., this motherboard also comes with a free bundle and the world's first and only front USB 3.1 front panel. And this front panel also supports another pair of USB 3.1 Type-A and Type-C ports for your front chassis. This is another super alloy motherboard that is specifically designed for enthusiasts and designers. It has all of the super alloy features and a 12 power face design and combo caps which is a combination of two different kinds of Nichicon 12K platinum capacitors. On the board there are four uh, PCI Gen 3 by 16 slots that can not only just support ordinary graphics card but they also can support uh, workstation pro graphics cards such as Nvidia's Quadro cards and AMD's Fire Pro graphics cards. The onboard storage is impressive too. Besides the half width mini PCIe uh, slot, you also get 10 SATA 3 ports and it's shared with three sets of SATA Express connectors and also shared with another three Ultra M.2 slots. This is also the first time that it, you can, a motherboard can genuinely support PCIe SSD RAID with the onboard M.2 slots and ASRock's U.2 kit. To build a RAID 0 array with your PCI SSDs, first go into ASRock's UEFI and then head over to the advanced page and then you'll find a storage configuration folder. In this, then go to SATA mode selection and change it from AHCI into RAID. And after changing it to RAID mode, then you'll have a uh, launch storage OPROM policy. It should be at legacy only, and so now we have to turn it into UEFI only. And then you can see your uh, PCI SSDs. Ours is Intel SSD 750 series, and just turn these into enable. I have three, so I'm going to enable all three of them. Okay. And then go to exit, save changes and exit, and then restart, and go into the UEFI BIOS again. This time, go into the advanced page as well. But now go to the last folder, Intel Rapid Storage Technology. And then you'll see uh, an option, Create RAID Volume. Enter it, and then the first thing you have to do is enter a name. I'm going to name my RAID array Help Me. The RAID level, right now we're going to build a RAID 0. And then select the disk you want to go into this RAID. I'm going to choose X and mark X on all of them, then create volume, and it's done. Now all you have to do is exit, save changes and exit, and then enter Windows to see your RAID array. Here we have ASRock Z170 Extreme 7 Plus and three Intel SSD 750 series SSDs built into a giant PCIe SSD RAID 0 array. And for the read speed, we've reached 3,561 MBs and write speed 3,245 MBs. If you're interested in ASRock's Z170 Extreme 7 Plus and other motherboards from our Extreme line or Gaming line or OC Formula, then you can go onto our website to check them out. See you next time.